just the tips. All right, everybody, it's Adam and Mike with uh, Just the Tips, episode 48, coming at you tonight. How we doing? Dude, doing good. How are you? Doing good. Uh, a little tired, a little tired today. Yeah, uh, a little too much golf this week or what? Not me, man, not me. Uh, one, one round in, but uh, a lot of work getting done on the uh, on the simulator. I poured uh, 20 bags of concrete today by hand, so Ooh. like I said, we're one yeah, step closer. We, we need an update on that, dude. Yeah. Well, that's uh, that's what uh, what's that? One thousand six hundred pounds of concrete that I poured today. Uh, but the best part is, is uh, you know, I don't mind doing physical labor and work and stuff like that if I get a, uh, a good audio book. I got the new Arnold Schwarzenegger book, and oh, yeah. Uh, he's yeah, dude, he's helping me keep my uh, my dreams in front of me. Uh, I can do anything if uh, if I stay positive and work hard enough. Uh, it's a it's an excellent book. What's the uh, name of it? it it's it, like. Uh... It's seven, uh, or it's what is it? Uh, be useful or yeah, be, be of useful. use? Yeah, but it's seven lessons that he learned from being the world's greatest bodybuilder, <laughs> the world's greatest action star, and the uh, the uh, as he reminds you about I don't know about every three to four minutes, uh, the head of the sixth largest economy in the world. So the head so, of the sixth but, largest uh, economy. Wait, wait, whoa, whoa, hang on. Uh, yeah. Which one's that? California. Oh, yeah, so I, I guess say he he's says that, California's best governor, also, right? Well, I don't know. You're going to upset a lot of people that like Ronald Reagan. Oh, I, 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 I didn't know. I don't know. I'm not into <laughs> politics. Not into politics. So, yeah. Um, but it, but it really is excellent, and uh, the, because some of the stuff he got into, uh, I was unaware of all his heart issues and stuff, all the surgeries he had, and heart repairs and stuff. Yeah, like fairly and, recently know. too, right? I, well, I guess he had, um, I guess he had a, a heart valve replacement, like in his fifties, like like twenty some years ago, and then was supposed to have like a like just a, a mild like tune up, and something went wrong, and he had to do uh, uh, the whole thing, uh, and in his seventies. But he talks about like his recovery, and he's like he's like everything he does, he comes right back to the gym. He's like yeah. when he, when he reads a script. You know, he's like, it's 20 reps to read the script. You know, when he has a, you know, when, he, when he's given a speech, he's like, he's like, it's 10 reps to give a speech. And he's like, you know, when I had the, you know, the, uh, like a tube in his chest and he's got to do laps around the, uh, the thing. He's like, all right. He's like, today we're doing 10 laps, you know, and uh, everything's, he, he everything's in like reps, reps, everything, you know, sets and reps. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, man. So, uh, like I so said, that so got you. How many, were you doing reps of the bags of cement? Is that what you were doing? No, dude, 80 pounds of, uh, 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 of cement is so heavy. I don't know. It's just a bulky, it's, it feels weird, but, uh, it's not that it's the mixing it. And, uh, you know, I don't have a cement mixer or anything like that. I'm literally mixing it by hand. So like dude, you're my arms, my back are shot. You said well, you really on, have a wheelbarrow, the, uh... right? No, no, I'm <laughs> I, I'm like embarrassed, but I'm you mixing it 80 pounds of time in a, in a five gallon bucket with a uh, with a hand shovel, and uh, I got uh, 20 da 20 bags down. I got 100 to go, and uh, <laughs> and I'll be all set. How long did 20 <laughs> bags of cement take you? Well, you know, I'm right now is the 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 hard part because I'm building out the forms to level out the area, and there's some tricky spaces around the house. So today I got after I had I left the house at seven this morning. To go to the hardware store to get everything. I get done a little after four o'clock today, so a little nice. nine hours. And this is all lot. for listen, you know, for our listeners. This is all for the simulator. Yeah, so you know, I'm in there. Uh, the space is. What's nice is, is every time I do do like the next step, I'm like, wow, man. I'm like, we're literally one step closer. We're doing this. They're having a real simulator space and the podcast studio, and it's going quick. I I think this is like a. Um, you know, I was hoping by the first of the year, but if we, if I keep it this pace, it could be well well before Christmas. Matter of fact, it could probably be hitting balls in there by Thanksgiving. <laughs> oh man, you know? don't tease me like that, dude. Don't tease. I'm me telling like you, that. dude. I'm telling you, it's it's going to be perfect. I'm very excited about it. So. Hitting balls but, in there by Thanksgiving, he says. Yeah. Hmm. the The trick though is is I I can't work 
and do all the stuff that we're doing for the uh, for the channel, which again, you're doing 90% of it, but the 10% I'm doing is still taking a lot of times because how busy we are, and we'll get to that in a minute. Yeah. But, um, you know, since, uh, since last podcast, I think I've played golf three times and once was by accident. So, you know, not a, not a lot going on. Uh, I think you've played more golf than I have. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I played, um, played a couple little matches actually, uh, against, um, against our two time women's club champion. She's also, uh, Northeast, you know, hurricanes champion, She's AJGA, two-time winner, like a bunch of things. And I played two matches against her since uh, since we last spoke. And, and she's then, also how old? Oh, she's 16. <laughs> <laughs> um, but she played from the whites and I played from the blacks. And mm-hmm. um, other than that, I think I played one other round. You know, uh, course our, our home course punched this week, so it's kind of been a little, uh, you know... Uh, trying to either get some practice in or work on the channel a little bit and um you know but it's a little bit you've been you've been crushing it by the way um you you posted a video of the um uh of of the aeration machine uh that's the first time i've ever seen an aeration machine i thought it looked completely different than what i thought it would look like well Uh, i think they have a a couple different versions of it do they yeah yeah but still, the, for, uh, somewhere somewhere in my head, I thought it would look more like a like a, a lawnmower, and this thing's like a, a a piece of industrial equipment. So, like you mean like a lawnmower, like a push behind lawnmower, or like a ride on? Yeah, yeah, kind of. You know, I thought they would be out there with like a twenty inch push mower, like being very gentle with the greens and stuff like oh, that. No, this thing's that, not gentle. That's not I don't this, think any no. aerator I've ever seen was gentle. Um, yeah, I actually it, does, it doesn't destroy the greens. No, it doesn't. But it's not. You got to punch a hole and pull a plug out every time, mm-hmm. so it is a little bit more aggressive. But um, I punched my front yard the last two years, and I rent mm-hmm. an aerator, and it's, dude, it's it would be. I'm no cowboy or anything, but it would be equivalent to me like trying to hold on to a bull. This thing, you <laughs> got you got to grab hold of it, and you're mm-hmm. you know it's pulling you. Um, the one he used, it was not a walk behind. He was actually pulling it um, by hand. And yeah. they were doing a little punch. So that's probably a, that was probably the least aggressive you would see a punch on the greens. And that actually wasn't pulling out plugs. They were just doing mm-hmm. a little mini punch and just on the greens. Um, yeah. I have seen other ones where it's a ride on and they're, and they're, you know, they're tearing it up. They're doing fairways. They're doing tee boxes. They're doing greens and stuff like that. So. Yeah, the, I, I I think the surprise that I had was the equivalent to like understanding how violent uh, um, aeration is is the equivalent of like seeing childbirth for the first time. You're like, oh my god, that's really brutal. Yeah. You know, it's like way worse than I thought it was going to be. Well, I think you know? you know. I mean, if you really think about what the purpose is, I mean, they really have to get holes. You know. Probably, I, I think like I, I I don't know what the real number is, but I think they got to actually go down like at least three inches to get you know below the root and everything like that to get the nutrients and the water and the airflow and stuff like that. So it does have now, to be. What do, they do, what do they do with all that? Uh, extra, with, with all that material that they take out of there? So a lot they, of courses it, sweep it off or they'll blow it off and then they'll just dump it over the side, which. To my luck, when I was doing my backyard when I lived down in South Carolina, we were redoing a tee box. Mm-hmm. So I took all the old um, um, sod that they had cut up from this tee box and just tossed it over yeah. the side because they were re, I think they were re sodding. They weren't seeding. And I was yeah. literally taking piece by piece, like three pieces at a time in the back of my Honda Accord coupe. Back to my house, <laughs> laying it down, piecing it together like a puzzle, and then they punched, and they just seriously, they just blow it off, sweep it off, cart it off, and dump it over the side. And now you're talking. I mean, the dirt is good, the soil is good. It's yeah, it's, it's uh, fertilized. It's good grass. Mm-hmm. Um, and I was taking that and filling in the gaps. Um, 
of this and dude my backyard down south looks so good so good yeah. <laughs> so yeah. yeah they usually just dump it but they, they didn't pull plugs this time so th- there was nothing but they usually okay. when i do it in my yard they say leave it and let it kind of uh let it break up and it'll hmm. kind of level your own lawn but i don't think that really worked i don't know like i said it's uh it's incredible and they're uh, they, what's nice is they filled in the holes with a, uh, with a very, very, very fine sand. Yeah. Um, and where, you know, again, I, you know, somebody was telling, I, Jamie's playing tomorrow. She got an invite for, uh, for tomorrow afternoon nice. and she's like, I hope it's not bad. And I'm like, I heard somebody tell, told me where they were running good. So I'll be able, I'll be interested to see what they look like after a week. Yeah. 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 They're not too bad. Um, right. speaking cool. of Thanksgiving, dude, um, we got Thanksgiving coming up, man. We got our Thanksgiving trip coming up, which we talked about last week. And midway through this week, something hit me. And I don't know what I was doing. I don't know why we didn't think about this before or mm-hmm. anything like that. But I don't know why we're cutting it so short. You know, that's what I was thinking about. Yeah. I was thinking so, like. So last year, um, if I remember correctly, your daughters had basketball practice on that Monday. Tryouts. Oh, uh, tryouts. Tryouts. So so we drove through the night and we went all the way south, all the way down to Myrtle. Uh, we cannonball run it back. Uh, you drove them back to Massachusetts. They went to basketball practice, uh, tryout at school, then basketball tryouts. Um, if I remember correctly, they both they both made the team. They did a great job, right? Yeah, yeah. And I mean, yeah, they were they were tired though. They were tired. Yeah, but but mission accomplished. We ate all the all the the, the pies from Thanksgiving. We uh, we played all the golf. We did all the driving. Uh, they made the basketball team. So mission accomplished. But this year, um, the girls aren't going with us. It's just you and me. Yeah. So yeah, you were so... saying. So there's no real reason to to rush back. Exactly, dude. Yeah, we don't. You don't, really... you don't have basketball tryouts, right? Yeah, I don't. Have, I don't have to. <laughs> yeah, I'm not trying out for anything. Um. So that's what made me think. Like, you know, I was. I know you said that you were worried about sleeping on this trip, um, and then rushing back after playing Todd Hill Farm. Not rushing back, but coming back after playing Todd Hill Farm is just uh makes for a long day and a half of being not in a bed. Um mm-hmm. and then I started thinking like wait a minute, we don't really have to rush back for anything. Um and we're almost to Myrtle Beach and we're almost to Charleston. I mean, why not do some more strand stuff? This is called strands given. It is. Right? So, so um so what what were you thinking? So if we have uh, uh, the um, uh, where are we playing on Friday again? Uh, Friday is Royal New Kent. Royal New Kent. Yeah, I know then, you struggle oh, remembering that. I I do because uh, uh, again because I, I keep thinking of, uh, of of the other course, but then it's Tobacco Road on Saturday, Tot yep. Hill Farm on Sunday, and then we were driving back. But your suggestion is what now? So my suggestion is, is since we're down there and this is a Strands trip, I mean, you're right there near Caledonia True Blue, which we have a great relationship with those guys. Plus, we got to call them out on hole number nine on True Blue, which we're going <laughs> to make a separate video for. Um, and then you got Bulls Bay, man. Bulls Bay is another hour and a half south of Myrtle Beach. So we're right there. And I spoke with uh, the wonderful best caddy in the world puddles and Mm -hmm. uh we might be able to get that second chance at uh the ocean course and not during a tropical storm Hmm. uh and uh you were saying we might have the the course to ourselves yeah 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 yeah. so you know back in the day when i worked there um you we were slammed basically from april 1st until 4th of july slammed yeah like Plan on doing doubles. Like, we always carry yeah. two bags, but you would do a loop and get a little lunch and then go back out on another loop again. Mm-hmm. 
So you're doing where I lost you, but um, he he. I, I remember asking for uh, April first off one year for opening day of a Yankee game, and he goes, "Yeah, you can have the day off, and then you can take the rest of the year off." <laughs> so <laughs> we had to work every single day, and then summertime was just too hot. Um, so you know, you you'd probably loop like four or five times a week, but you weren't doing doubles. And then come Memorial Day, right? Which one's in September? Memorial Day or Labor Day? Labor Day. Labor Day. You'd pick back up, and then you'd work all the way till Thanksgiving, same deal. You're doing two loops a day, carrying two bags, you know, crushing it. But after Thanksgiving, mm-hmm. it would just drop off. You know, holidays are here. It's starting to get a little chilly down there. People aren't doing their, their golf trips anymore, so it kind of slowed down. So I asked Puddles, and I said, hey, what's what? how are we looking after Thanksgiving? He was like, dude, we can make it work. So we're going to make it work if we go down there. And he might join us at Bulls Bay. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to have got to have some some puddles at Bulls Bay. And Bulls Bay is not too far from Charleston either. So listen, I'm looking at the the strands list right here. Caledonia, mm-hmm. True Blue, Bulls Bay, Tobacco Road, Tot Hill Farm, Royal New Kent. Those are actually the top 6 on the list. Uh just in order on this list right now. Um mm-hmm. and then you have Stonehouse which is in Virginia again, which I mean, we might be passing on the way back up. I'm just saying. <laughs> and then you got Silver Creek Valley in California. And then you got Monterey Peninsula Country Club out in California. So those are his nine that he's designed. Um, for some reason, I think one of them doesn't get a ton of credit because um, I don't think, and don't quote me on this. I'm trying to look at the Wikipedia page while I'm talking to you. Um I think like he might have passed before one of them was complete. Um, but he. So what we're talking about is playing six of the nine strands courses and the ocean course in a week. And one awesome trip, and then maybe we can hit up Stonehouse on the way back. So <laughs> that would be epic, 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 epic. Has anybody in the history of golf ever done this before? No, 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 no. no. We we might played, be played. We are the maverick of playing the maverick courses. <laughs> we are paving the way. Um, I know so, that there is so a page the, out there, um, um, Strance fans. Um, mm-hmm. I spoke with those guys, and actually one dude is in Charleston. The other one's in Tennessee. And we should tell them, man. We should reach out to them and just be like, hey, this is what we're doing. Has you know? anybody, anybody done, done this before? before? So I... It, it, I don't even want to bring it up here. I, I really don't. But if if we're going to play, and there's a chance we could play the other one in Virginia, that's that's all, that's seven of the of the the courses. It's just the two in California at that point. Then right. Mm-hmm. So are you going to California next summer? Is that what you're getting at? Because that's what I'm hoping you're getting at. <laughs> uh, so why don't why, why don't we just go to California? Spring break? From Charleston. From Charleston. Oh, you just want to add on to it. Just keep it rolling. Just a quick cross country trip, two quick two quick uh rounds, the and then furthest right back to west Charleston. I've traveled in my life is mm-hmm. uh Salt Lake City. Uh I went there for yeah. a fitness conference. The flight was terrible, dude. Uh I All hate right. I, I'm not a big flyer to begin with, but and neither mm-hmm. are you. But man, being no, on a it's, plane, but it's a it's a necessary evil. Being on a it's plane a, that long was brutal. Yeah, it's a, but it listen. But if if this was just supposed to be a quick weekend down and back, no big deal, no harm, no foul. But if we're gonna add, if if there's a possibility that we could play six, possibly seven of the strands courses Why not in a week. Nine? This would be the the national notoriety that we've been looking for. So I'm looking uh, at Silver Creek Valley Country Club right now. It's in mm-hmm. San Jose. Okay. okay. Now I know nothing of California, which we've already discovered yeah. that I didn't even really r- realize that Reagan was a governor <laughs> uh, there. Right. Um, uh, so I'm zooming out. We got um, San Jose is south of San Francisco. Okay. Um, other side of the bay, kind of thing, isn't that like where yeah. they're? Isn't that where um, San Fran's San Fran's uh, um, stadiums in Santa Clara, right? 
So right then there. We're, right, we're right. there on the weekend. Right there. So we play those two courses, and then we're both Niners fans. No, no, no. So here's the thing. I don't. <laughs> I think. I think the other course is up near Pebble. Now, again, I don't know California very south. well, so I'm gonna zip through that. I'm gonna. I'm gonna um, pop that in Google Maps here. Do you think mm -hmm. it's south? Pebble Beach is south. Pebble Beach is definitely south of San Francisco. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Zooming out. Yeah, a little south. Not. I mean, again. I mean, California. California is a big state. The whole California West is like. Coast. I'm like, ah, it's not yeah. that far. It's probably it's like from twelve hours. From yeah, Colorado. Virginia to to South Carolina. So let's type in some directions here. We're gonna go yeah. boom. Silver Creek so, to Monterey, dude. Hour and a half. Hour and a half. Well, so so here's so here's the Google move is time, not California time. No, that's okay. What's uh, we just find flights from Charlotte to San Francisco. We're doing this on podcast. I know, but but this is how great ideas get the uh, get formed. Is so, uh, we drive down. Uh, we play Royal New Kent on Friday, Tobacco Road on Saturday, Tot um, Farm Sunday, Tot Hill on Sunday, Caledonia, on Monday, True Blue on Monday. Bulls Bay. No, nope. Ocean Tuesday. Course is going to be Tuesday. Bulls Bay. Ocean Course is Wednesday. Wednesday. We jump on a flight on Wednesday night. Thursday, we play. What's the one in San Francisco? Silver Creek. Silver uh, Creek Valley. Friday, we play. Um, that one is called Monterey Peninsula Country Club. We and jump back on a flight on Saturday. We drive home on Sunday and play. We got to play Stonehouse in Virginia on the way. Oh, back. we we can play. We can play. We can play Stonehouse on uh, on Sunday and then drive home the rest of the way. Yeah. The only people in the history of the world to play all nine strands courses in the same week. Dude, we would make his Wiki, Wikipedia page. I yeah, hope. I would. I, hope. I would think so. Yeah. Um, all right, I'm looking at Silver Creek right now. I think, um, I believe Silver Creek and mm -hmm. I think that Mon I know the Monterey Peninsula one is super private, so we're gonna have to, um, we're gonna have to listen. We'll, we'll, we'll get the Strands community behind us, yeah. It's just a round of golf, it's not gonna hurt them any, yeah. you know. Uh, and like I said, um, it'll, it'll bring uh, national notoriety. I think uh, I think this could be the move. Yeah, gotta yeah. take a look and see what those uh, so what those flights go for. Our trip went from three days to seven <laughs> to nine. Um, it looks like Silver Creek is also private, and I know mm -hmm. that that Stone House is also private as well, and Bulls Bay is private. Okay. So we got some strings to pull. Dude, as this always, Silver Creek one but... looks so cool. So I've never played golf in California before, have I? No. Um, but, uh, you know, again, it. Uh, I don't think we need any special wedges. I don't think we're going to run into anything that's uh, that's crazy, you know? Yeah, you never know. The, the, we, we learned the hard way down going down south that we, our wedges were not the right wedges to be, um, to be using on that grass. That's why gotcha. I snapped one of them. <laughs> All right, you um, you're working on that. You're gonna have to make some phone calls on. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm looking at <laughs> flights right now. Uh, we got to be able see. to get on the courses. But all right, guys, listen. That's the 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 plan is <laughs> to really hype up. Uh, and, and 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 we love Mike Strand. So right? like, if you watch so our I'll top hill videos, Adam's gonna yeah. have a kid and name him Mike. I'm going to have a kid and name him Mike Strance. His first name is going to be Mike Strance. <laughs> Mike Strance Romano. That's I think it, my dog, if I get a pet, I'm going to name him Maverick, though. Like, Maverick? Yeah. I like that. Yeah. You know? Or I might just get a horse and name him Scout. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I'm not even uh, a horse guy. Um, let's see. That's the plan, guys. That's Ooh. the strength given plan that we got to put in the works for the next uh you know the next couple days probably this next week um, yeah yep uh 
Really? You're looking at flights? That. It can't be that inexpensive. It can't be $190. So I must be looking at something to wrong. To fly here. to, where are you flying out of? Out of Charleston. Yeah. <laughs> to, to San Francisco. Uh, Saturday, the, oh, I'm on the, the, I'm on the wrong day. Uh, it is December 4th. Uh, oh, no, departing on December 4th through December 7th. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, no, but uh, if we don't mind making 32 stops, it's 276. 32 uh, stops, here's what a, we're stopping. Uh, this one, uh, it's an eight-hour and third. Oh, it's just one stop, one stop in Houston. Yeah. Uh, here's one with one stop in Dallas. Here's the cheapest one is uh uh one stop in uh washington uh for 258 hmm. round trip per traveler and that's uh that's united i think united's got a pretty liberal uh bag uh that's another uh, thing you gotta look at the bag stuff golf bags yeah all right sort by cheapest price lowest and the lowest the very least we can get out there is that 258 uh, with a with a uh, hour stop over in in, uh, in the state of Washington, but uh, I don't know, dude. I don't know. I don't know. We got to make some phone oh. calls on. Uh, well, first of all, we got to make sure we can get on Bulls Bay, um, yeah. and then we got to touch base with uh, um, Stonehouse, and then yeah. we'll touch base with um, Silver Creek and Monterey. That would be fun, though, dude. Actually, just even doing Silver Creek and Monterey like on its own would be another awesome, epic trip as well. A, a, a California trip would be would be super cool. Yeah, and uh, not not for nothing, but uh, what would be what would be super dope. And one of the trips I've always wanted to take was flying into San Francisco and driving that Pacific Coast Highway from San Francisco to San Diego and stopping in. Um, uh, you know, because that brings you the, the whole length of the state. It's basically the equivalent of driving the New York State Thruway from Buffalo to New York City, right? Really? Um, you know, but you're on the Pacific Coast Highway, so you're on the Pacific Ocean the entire time. So, mm. you know, you start up north in San Francisco, but that brings you through, like, Sonoma Valley, like the wine area, um, brings nice. you down through those. Probably um, those hot- that probably sounds like a thing you shouldn't be doing with me and probably with your wife. <laughs> Uh, she can come too. Nobody said she couldn't. <laughs> uh, Shotgun. <so. laughs> I, I, we'll get we'll get a little uh, uh, you know a little uh, MG convertible. You know those those round sunglasses. Me and you the in the front. Jamie's the just stuck in the back seat. That's like a half a back seat. <laughs> <laughs> exactly yeah, awesome. so all right so um next week uh we'll update everybody on the uh the strands trip yeah we're gonna uh, give we, weekly it's either updates gonna be, on that it, it's either gonna be what it is uh now it's gonna be expanded uh to include charleston or it's gonna be uh, uh we're gonna be california dreaming on a such a winter's coast. day yeah, a dual uh, coast exactly. transgiving trip we'll be back on new year's it, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, speaking of the holidays, though, uh, we've officially launched, uh, and dude, I just couldn't be more impressed with the uh, uh, the work you've done on this. For me, it's like Christmas every day because I'm not sure who the who the next um, uh, uh, sponsor is, who the the next gift of Christmas is. Um, I know we talked a lot about this all year, and then you ran with it, but uh, when this comes out, it'll officially be the third day of just the tips. Uh, Christmas or just the tipsmas? Yeah, I love it. Which that. is just really hard tipsmas. to say. Have you tried? Just the tipsmas. You can say that. Just the tipsmas. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like it. Yeah. It's got a good ring to it. Well, I mean, if you guys have been following along, uh, today when this is coming out is day three. On um, day one, we came. Uh, we touched base with the the turn custom head covers. Um, I reached out to these guys a year ago because they were the only brand that i really saw making really good head covers custom head covers and not just custom like do you want it blue with a with a red number one on the top right this is whatever you can dream they can make and they're Um, helping you design it they're like oh what are you thinking i'm like well i want just the tips on it and here's our logo but do your thing he's like all right give me an idea i was like well i really like the yellow like the goldish yellow and some black he was like, all right, cool. He sent me an idea. 
I was like, all right, that's cool. Now let's clean it up here a little bit. He was like, all right, how about this? And I mean, we're talking like a couple hour turnaround time on the designs. And that was really, really mm-hmm. cool. And I, I just, the communication process was awesome. And uh, I got my head covered and you guys watch it in the video. It's in at the end. I don't know if you guys have been seeing it all along, but uh, that is from them. Yeah. So, you know, when uh, when I was taking a look at the, um, at the, uh, the, the video that they sent us, what I was super impressed by uh, was how customizable it was. So you and I have been kind of going and saying the reason for the 12 days of Christmas is so that you, the uh, spouse, the loved one of a golfer, don't end up buying them something stupid that with all great intentions is never going to be used. And yeah. one of the things that we continuously talk about is like the New York Giants head cover set, uh, right? But... This custom one, do you see some of the custom sports teams they put on there? Oh, yeah, dude. And, I mean, especially so, especially like college teams and stuff like that, dude. These guys are not messing around. But it, but it was more than that. So it was like, okay, if you like um, the, the Tar Heels or you like the Giants or, God forbid, you like the Red Sox, right? You know, you could do like their, their logo on there or their team colors, but you could put your name on there. You could like, like as a Jersey, yeah. you know, like, like I'm a Mets fan. So I could have a, 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 an orange and blue head cover with the Mets logo, but then it says paddock 13 on it, like yeah. a Jersey, you know? So this isn't the, you know, you went to Walmart and you went to the sports section and they had those giants head covers. This yeah. is, yeah, I'm a Mets fan. I don't mind, you know, sharing that on my, uh, you know, on my golf equipment, but here's this dope ass head cover, yeah. you know, very personalized yeah. and very customized. And that's what I really liked about it. You know what I mean? It's just like, and it's, and it's great quality. I mean, I've had mine on yeah. for a year and it still looks brand new. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Very good stuff. So, if you don't mind me asking, what's the, the approximate cost for a driver head cover? I think, I think it'll look like very... they're like 300 bucks. No, 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 no. I, I think it was like 99 bucks. Yeah, and yeah, I mean, so, if you're getting a stealth head cover, like if you're just getting a, a, a tailor made head cover, I think they're like forty five bucks. So not only are they forty five, but when you go on and you like those um, those sugar skull ones, or you go to your favorite course, um, we're we're good friends with the folks from the Swan, and they work with a very high end custom head cover place um, that designs their custom head covers. You're not getting one for a hundred bucks though. No. You know, no. and, yeah, and, it, it, so, and you're not getting it customized. You're getting it, you know, with that, with that, um, course on it. You know that, what I mean? You go, yeah. you go to the Trump or you go to Durant, you know what I mean? You go to, mm-hmm. you go to Kiwa, you're getting a key, dude, a Kiwa, a Kiwa head cover is going to cost you 250. So the other, yeah, I no kidding. I got the, the mallet head cover. Um, the, uh, uh, so, and that's the other thing with, uh, with the term custom, is they do uh, not just the driver, because I thought that, but they'll do your, if you got a three or a five wood or you want a hybrid, but they also do putter covers. Yeah. And I was like, oh, man. I'm like, that's kind of cool, you Dude, know? And so. they're actually starting to customize bags and not just put a little thing on your bag. They're going to fully make the bag for you. Every single yep. stitch, every color, every panel, every everything, guys. Yeah. Um, uh, so I am up for a new bag in the spring. That was one of my, uh, 2025 purchases. My, my bag's fine. It's just getting faded a little rip. And yeah, now I that I just, the... I think you just like to buy a new bag every month, every, every year. You're just like, Oh, there's like a scuff on here. Let me get a new bag. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, but when I saw they do custom bags, the, I immediately went the, the Navy and lime green with the, just the tips and yeah. big block letters across the side my name on the other side, you know? Uh, yeah, I think you know, that would be really, really cool. See, like, yeah. the bag that I got, um, I want to have just the tips down the, up the side, but, like, our embroiderer can't do that. Like, they needed to zip off, and then you bring mm-hmm. it to them, so. Yeah. Uh, you, you need to get somebody that airbrushes it. Like, you need to bring it to the county fair. You yeah, know, like, like they a, do the like t-shirts the for, like, Shore. you and your girlfriend? Like the Jersey Shore, <laughs> they airbrush the Just the Tips on there, you yeah, know? that'd be uh, cool. Very cool. So uh, the Turn Custom, very, very, very impressed. And, again, you know, I- I'm saying to myself, if, you know, uh, if uh, anybody from the Paddock family is uh, listening to this podcast, yeah. um, I need a hybrid cover. Uh, uh, I need a hybrid cover. I think so. you need a hybrid cover, and I think you need – 
a three wood cover because your three wood covers uh is that I, a Jones? They're both the, they're both the Jones, but yeah. I could I could move one of those or both of those Jones head covers uh, to my wife's bag because there's a I have a black one and she's got the Steelers colors going on the black and yellow, so she could have the black one. Uh, if there was a custom uh, head cover for Christmas. So, yeah. uh, it, again, anybody from the Paddock family, it's called theturncustom.com, and you can reach out to them at theturncustom.com. Yeah. Uh, and then day number two, so I was at a Halloween party uh, with some friends, not drinking because it's 75 hard, not nice. eating candy because it's 75 hard, uh, my buddy's got a custom drink machine uh, that makes craft cocktails that I didn't have. Uh, and I'm kind of sitting there in the corner being a, a little miserable, if I'm being honest with you. Because uh, I don't need the drink to have fun, but it does make it easier. Um, and I go, I'm looking at our email and our uh, day number two sent the coolest video. And I go, yeah. holy cow, they're in production with just the tips. Yeah, so um, I put together a video with uh, some of the stuff that they sent, and um, he was like, hey, he's like, I'll send you a video. I was like, okay. Sent this video. Um, you had texted me, um, I think it was Halloween night, no? Yeah. And it was I'm, sitting on the couch doing nothing else. I'm sitting, there, else drinking. I'm sitting there trying to scare the crap out of kids out, outside of my parents' house, and um, I look at it, and I'm like, holy crap. That was freaking awesome. So um, yeah. they sent us a video, which, I mean, I knew their, I, I liked their stuff to begin with. And then this video just made it 10 times better, dude. Um, yeah. So check so, that video so they out, went, guys. Yeah, they went so far, though, because just like um, the head covers, uh, shaft wraps uh, are our uh, favorite uh, protection and decoration company. Uh, the, the company that helps set you apart on the golf course as far as uh, your looks go. Um, they, they now have a division where they can customize your shafts, uh, your shaft wraps. So we have just the tips logoed custom shaft wraps. I have uh, yellow ones on my wedges, uh, but you had one design that was like winter camouflage with our yellow shield. Yeah. Well, there you, they did three clubs out. They're out in, um, in Arizona, Arizona right? Yeah. Yeah. So they put the three clubs together and they're featuring it in some of their um, uh, some of their advertising, yeah, it was just it was really really impressive. Really cool, really cool, yeah. good stuff. What, so, what are the things about shaft wraps, though? And and we don't need to brag brag them up, but as I was doing the copy for the uh, the twelve days of Christmas, you know, one of the things that they say is that um, when you buy these uh, shaft wraps, get ready to have people ask you, "What is that?" Yeah. And I'm glad they put that on the website because not a week goes by and sometimes not a day goes by where somebody that I don't know will come up and goes, what what shafts do you have in those wedges? And I have to go, it's a shaft wrap for decoration and protection. It's not actually the shaft, but, you know, a, a, you know, a, a sticker, a vinyl decal that goes yeah, over top decal. of it. Yep. But um, did you see some of the ones that came up? I, I thought I knew all of the ones that they had. But they have the They're bundles. They're constantly coming out with new ones. Like, the, you know, yeah. they have the holiday ones out there with the spider webs on it and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, yeah, dude, they have some really cool ones, like those hickory ones that you were talking about. Pretty so cool. make your clubs look like uh, their hickory uh, <laughs> hickory shafts. So you know if you you know you got a you got a set of seven uh, nineties, and now you're the only guy out there that it looks like you got a hickory shaft in your seven yeah. nineties. Yeah. And they're so cool. What guys. really impressed me though was their bundles, and yeah. they so so if you look, they're in the same category. Like they have a carbon fiber bundle or a black bundle or a pink bundle, but they give you the right amount of a certain design for your woods the right amount for your irons in a slightly different pattern, but in the same color scheme, like they go together and then a different one for your putter. So, you know, there's like three different, um, uh, designs that all go together. Um, I don't, it, it, they, there must be something like this in like the, the furniture design world or <laughs> the clothing world where like everything kind of goes together. You just buy it and it, and, and it goes together. So they're doing those bundles, and I thought that was amazing too. Yeah. Um, yeah. The one thing I really liked about about um, is the is the contact information. You know what I mean? Like you reach out to these guys, they they talk to you, 
they're fellow golfers. They love the game. And yeah. um, he's just like, what do you want? What do you want to do? He's like, let's do it. Um, yeah. And like you said, man, like people asking, you know, like, you know, once in a while you'll get those people. Cause like I have matte black ones on my irons and they're like, oh, you got graphite shafts. I'm like, no, no, I just want, I, I will always be different. Like if there's a way to make my clubs not look like yours and still perform exactly the same, I want to do it because my I just like mine to be different. I like to be I don't I don't want to say flashy, but I like to stand out from other people's stuff. So that's why I'll I'll, mm-hmm. I'll get a white camel bag. I'll get you know different irons, different grips, different head covers, everything like that. And that's what I really really love about them is that it just makes them different. Yeah. So, um, uh, so again, on the first day of Just the Tipsmiths, my true love gave to me a custom head cover. Mm-hmm. On the second day of Just the Tipsmiths, my true love gave to me uh, shaft wraps. And uh, so by the way, shaft wraps quick, are really not, wraps. Ex- they're not expensive. No, they're, and you use the code Just the Tips, and you'll get 25% off when you buy three or more. Is that true? Yeah. Oh, yeah, wow. I didn't realize that we had 25% off? 25%. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Okay. And you're going to want to buy three. You're going to want to buy three anyway. So Um, we do have a code coming from the turn custom. I just got to get it from them because they had to like, uh, they had to make it work. But if you just tell them that that you saw it from us, they'll hook you up with a discount. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. And by the way, like I said, these are smaller um, uh, companies. Like I said, I mean, yeah. you know, you're you know, talking you directly know, Titleist, to the guys. Titleist who... is doing okay. Callaway, <laughs> I think they're all right. Mizuno doesn't need your help around Christmas time. But these companies, these are mom and pop shops, uh, you know, largely or startups or, um, you know, companies that, you know, they're, they're again, you're not going to buy these at Walmart. You're not going to find these on, in many cases, on Amazon. Right. So no, uh, yeah, yeah. again, it's very exciting. Um, so uh, this, this is what I don't know. Uh, on the third day of just the tips, miss my true love gave to me. Oh, you don't know. Back nine clean, baby. Ah, uh, there you go. Back nine so clean. again, it, so your only uh, uh, waterless club cleaning system. Yeah. Uh, it, we've used back nine clean all summer long. Uh, it, uh, it doesn't matter how dirty your clubs are. It doesn't matter if you're in a parking lot, in a hotel room, uh, you're in your backyard. So you easy. don't need water for this. It's a foam. I was stunned by how many cleans we get out of the, uh, the yeah, foam cleaning system. True story. Uh, I thought, I thought for sure, like, like you cleaned your clubs with it and I cleaned my clubs with it. And I'm like, okay, that's probably all we're going to get out of this. We've been using the same, we've been sharing the same box yeah, all yep. summer. Yeah. And, um, listen, and I know it sounds, um, if somebody doesn't clean their clubs very often or only wants to just kind of like, you know, wipe the, the, the big clump of dirt off, this sounds probably useless to you. Um, but when you get done with around the golf, all you need to do is sit like what I do is I leave my clubs on the tailgate, like in the bag. And I will just pull one halfway out, scrub it, wipe it, put it back in, next one. I don't even have to take them out of the bag. I'm just leaving them on the tailgate, and then I slide them in. And they're spotless when we're done. So There are nice and, – and they and they smell good. Yeah, I, I'm not a big one for, for smelling things, but, you know, whatever – coconut copper tone <laughs> uh aromatherapy yankee candle scent they put in this thing is Solid. delightful yeah uh, but it's also this one of these things that's going to be really nice for christmas because um you know again you you know it comes in a really nice case it's not big it's going to wrap up nice and square um it's not going to be the a gift for christmas it's not going to be like the big 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 gift but as you're looking for things that your golfer is going to appreciate things that um uh, they'll thank you for it. and things they'll, they'll use all year long. Uh, you know, you can't, and again, this is not an expensive gift, you know? No. Uh, and, and uh, to be honest, guys, they, it comes in, in two different, um, two different ways, right? So you can buy the whole kit, which is the, the foam cleaner, the brush and the towel, 
and or you can just buy the foam kit. So if you already had the kit, then you can just buy the foam. I'm sorry, not the foam kit. If you already have the kit, you can just buy the the additional spray bottle foam, and that can be like a stock and suffer or something like that. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you say it's not like the A gift, but it's definitely that um that A accessory gift. You know what I mean? Like that yeah. A you know dozen balls and back nine clean. Mm -hmm. Something like that. There, there you go. Yeah, yeah. If if if, the, if a dozen Pro Vs and a uh, and a back nine clean found its but here's way the under deal. the tree. We're, let's get back to, to talking about talking about what not to get them. Yeah, you yeah. talked about the the giants head covers. Don't buy mm -hmm. don't buy a dozen balls for your for for the golfer in your life unless you know exactly what ball they play. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I Cause personally because golfers yeah golfers are are creatures of habit. And like, if you bought me a dozen Pro V's, I'd be happy about it. I'd say thank you. Yeah. But I would also probably give them to you, you know, because I don't, I don't play Pro V's, you know. <laughs> exactly. Uh, and that's a that's a fifty five dollar <laughs> gift, and you're just like, cool, thank you, I appreciate what yeah. you did, but this isn't my ball. You yeah. know what I mean? Actually, I'd probably go. I'd probably take it back to Dick's and, uh, totally. and swap it out for totally. the Chrome Soft. Yeah. Where'd you get you this? Tour Soft. Which which <laughs> golf store did you buy this at? Just asking for a friend. <laughs> yep. yep. But uh, yeah, but uh, as you get your golf balls, get them uh, from. Uh, make sure you know which ones they uh, they normally use. Yeah. That's a that's a good question to ask this time of year, so it doesn't seem like you're fishing for Christmas gifts. Yeah. You know. Yep. Although although if your non golfing spouse was like just out of curiosity, what types of golf balls do you yeah. use? They'd probably be like, ask "Are you their okay, golfer buddy?" Ask their golfer, yeah. buddy. That's what you need They'll to do. Know. Okay. Yeah, that's worth a text message. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So late. So, so that um, brings us up so to the date on the yeah. list. You guys got to stay tuned for more. Oh, actually, it doesn't. I'm lying. We can't leave custom Wedgwoods out. Um, not that I was going to, but um, custom Wedgwoods. Uh, Ken from there. Again, these are smaller companies. We're not. We're not going crazy with TaylorMade and things like that. Ken is a one man shop. Uh, his wife helps him out as well and his daughter helps him out. But, um, Ken is, Ken is the man, dude. Uh, we played golf with him a couple times and he makes custom Wedgwoods. And I sat down and talked with him about, you know, the history of, of where this started, where he wants it to go, what his ideas are. And I, I want to get to his shop soon too. Um, mm. but he makes these, he makes wooden, accessories um for golf now we sat and had a long conversation the other night about uh where it started and it started from him chipping in his backyard all right and it was always like all right let me chip from from here you know to to the tree stump then it was mm -hmm. like all right let me walk over to the tree stump now i'm going to chip from here over to the corner of the playground uh, you know the swing set and, you know, things like that. And he's like, well, he's like, there should be like little markers. It'd be cool to have like little 10, 20, 30, 40 yard markers. He's like, let me make those. So that's mm -hmm. what he makes for, that's how it started, right? So these little, uh, beautiful, beautifully carved, painted, finished yardage markers for you to work on your short game in your backyard. That's called the backyard set. And then it started elaborating from there and like, dude, this would be cool. Oh, that would be cool. Yardage markers at the ranges on golf courses would be cool. These little dividers in between each um, hitter on the range would be cool. And then mm -hmm. it just it just went from there. You know, any wooden sign that you see on a golf course, Ken is making. Then it turned into a sign on the side of your simulator that says just the tips or, you know, like he wait until the videos come out about a couple of the other signs that he's made are really, really cool. And we're talking, these are one-offs, you know what I mean? He's custom making these for each person. So somebody wants one with their name on it. Somebody wants, wants their logo or uh, they want it pink. They want it green. They want it blue, whatever it is. He's, he's, personally personalizing each and every single one of these and they are a thing of beauty yeah 
he, he does a really nice job, and I'm kind of jealous because you're saying, hey, I'm going over to his shop, which I can only no, imagine is an awesome woodworking shop. Oh, yeah. But you know when you walk into somebody's wood uh, uh, woodworking shop and it smells like freshly cut, uh, cut wood? Good you know, it sawdust. smells like sawdust. Oh. Yeah, yep. And second especially the exotic smell. woods that he works That's in. That's my second favorite smell, by the way. What's your first one? Gasoline? Fresh cut grass. I used to let fresh cut lawn. Yeah. Fresh, <laughs> fresh cut, cut lawn. Yeah. Followed by fresh cut wood, followed by gasoline. Yeah. <laughs> I hear you. Yep. When I was a kid, I really liked the smell of gasoline. That Dude, you might have something. an addiction problem. Oh, definitely. Yeah, to almost anything that I like. Um, but uh no man, there's nothing cooler than somebody's wood shop. Uh, especially when they got all the cool tools. They got, you know, I have a lot of tools, but like Every circular saw I have is you don't like, have a wheelbarrow. like used to be. I don't have a wheelbarrow. No. <laughs> Jamie, get him a wheelbarrow uh, on, for Christmas. on the fourth That's... day of Christmas. <laughs> day 13. <laughs> on the day of just the tips is, yeah. uh, is a wheelbarrow. Um, no, I, unnecessary. I have the zero turn with a with a cart in the back. There you that go. I you can do, stuff definitely around. do that. Yeah. But for mixing up cement, you know, you see how expensive a wheelbarrow is? It's like uh, inflation uh, <laughs> hit the wheelbarrow. But when you go, like, what, like I don't know about you, but, like, I have all the tools, but, like, I have a circular saw, a table saw, a jigsaw, uh, a uh, reciprocate, all, all, these, all these saws. Every one of my blades is dull. Oh, Every freaking blade I have is all chopped up. When you go to a good woodworking shop, these guys, they cut, it cuts like butter. Oh, yeah. Mine, and they're all, uh, my like, circular saw, it's up like on the wall. Yeah. Yeah. They, oh, and they have they have clamps and like <laughs> wood glue. You know, uh, you Dude, know, I, I don't I have any poker. of that. You played poker with us one time in, in this guy's wood shop yeah. and downstairs in his basement. And uh, I just, I, I remember going there and just like looking. I'm like, oh, he's got a bunch of bits, router bits, drill bits. I'm like, ooh, that's mm -hmm. a lot of money just in that, on that shelf right there. That's, that's 80 bucks, 80 bucks, yep. 80 bucks, 80 bucks. Dude, he's got a wall full of clamps. And I'm like, dude, clamps aren't cheap. They're not cheap. No. And I'm looking, I'm like, this, this is probably a thousand dollars worth of clamps right here, just hanging right here. Yeah. Yeah. Real good wood shops. Yeah, I wanna I wanna head to Ken's um wood shop. He does some some great work. And what we're doing is we're gonna post one of those because again, he has so many different um pieces of of uh products that you can yeah. that you can purchase. You know what I mean? So how would um, one get a hold of uh, Custom Wedgwoods? So you can go reach out to them on uh, Custom Wedgwoods, uh, at Custom Wedgwoods on Instagram. And then he sent me his website, which is CustomWedgwoods.com. I'm going to find that as well. Uh, I'm looking at it right here. He is... Mm -hmm. um, oof, where is it? Custom, at Custom Wedgewoods. Let me type in CustomWedgewoods.com. CustomWedgewoods.com. So that's CustomWedgewoods.com. Um, mm -hmm. And he has great stuff on there. I actually didn't even look at his site up until like the other night when we were on the phone. And I'm like, dude, look at this. Look at that. He's got this picture. Um, I'm going to go into the library right now on his website. The library. No, I'm sorry. Products. Products. I'm going to go to... Um, brassies and mashies. So these are more like trophies. Okay. So he oh, makes, wow. he custom makes something. So say you win like the club championship, right? And he's going to make this sign. It'll say 2024 club championship on it. And then below it'll have like the, the course's logo or whatever you want on there. And then your name if you want. But he made this one for, uh, Silo Ridge. It was a 2023 Silo Ridge Pro Am Invitational, and it's just this square piece of wood, beautiful piece of wood. But um, the 2023 Silo Ridge Pro Am Invitational is engraved into the wood, but the logo of the bird is out. Is like okay. coming out of the yeah. wood, which he calls two and a half 3D. Because it's not a full, yeah. you know, whatever, two and a half, two point five D, I guess yeah. it's called. Um, this thing is amazing, man. I'm looking, I'm, I'm looking at it now, and I was looking at it then. I was like, I don't, I don't even know how you do this. It is absolutely mm -hmm. stunning, and the finish on it, the wood, you, you, 
Uh, remember when we played with him and he showed you one yeah. and you're like, whoa, this is kind of heavy. Like he's not yeah, yeah. messing around with the pieces of wood either. So it's yeah, all he's using, using some exotic lumber too. Yeah. With some tiger woods and, you know, uh, you know, all kinds of stuff. So, yeah. So, um, uh, uh, you know, again, uh, Ken, uh, Ken's rocking. So in it's like in addition to the 12 days of Christmas, uh, you know, again, he, you can uh, hit him up. Uh, he's like the uh, day one through 12 yeah. of uh, just the days of Christmas. So yeah. very cool. Good stuff. Well, listen, man, like I said, um, been a busy night for us. Uh, you know, we got updates uh, on uh, on trips and uh, <laughs> uh, simulators, uh, the 12 days of Christmas. Anything else we missed? Um, I mean, we got Florida trip. We got... Um... Got the flights booked. The what? It's halfway there. I got my flights booked. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm keep, I'm still looking at flights, and uh, I'm probably going to do that Southwest one, but yeah, yeah. whatever. Um, I, got, I got you. Yeah. All right, All that's right. it for now. So man. we'll be, we'll be back in a, we'll be back in a week with seven more uh, uh, of the twelve days of Christmas. So we'll be. Uh, through day number 10 yeah so we'll have all kinds of cool updates but check them out uh youtube instagram tiktok are the big three although facebook we seem to be getting a big following on facebook for some reason although we don't pay much attention to it uh any of those folks like subscribe share the 12 days of christmas with um uh you know everybody with the buyer you know, there, in your relationship at, also but everybody, because like like I said, the uh, you know everybody uh, is searching for that great Christmas gift. We've done the heavy lifting for you. Yeah. We figured it out. We know what they want. Uh, all you have to do is stay tuned through the twelve days, and then pick the one, two, three, up to twelve different things uh, that you think the, uh, your golfer would like. So you know, again, don't uh, you know, don't hog this information for yourself. Share it with others. Share it with everybody you know. Definitely. All right, All right, dude. So, like I said, I got to get back. I got uh, another uh, 20 bags of concrete to mess up my hand. <laughs> All right, dude, good luck with that. All right, man. Well, I'm Adam. I'm Mike. Just the tips. Just the tips. Just the tips.